Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to use Google Slides to create an interactive postcard. I like to use Google Slides to create interactive postcards as many school service centers have Google for Education which makes it easily accessible to students. One other advantage I see in using Google Slides for this task is that the teacher can make a model and share a copy to all students in a single click via Google Classroom. Let me show you how I would do it. So first of all, I would go to my drive, click on new to get a new version of Google Slide. The title I will write for this presentation is postcard. So basically what I wanna do is recreate a traditional postcard and the interactive aspect of it would be the video so I will start by putting my background black usually postcards have this little separation in the middle sometimes not always so I can come and draw a line here in the middle and I could make it a little larger like this and even change the color, put it white. So I would like to have a section for my text and a section to put the address to the person I'm gonna write. So I'll add a text box here and I can start writing the person's address. So let me write. Once all my address is written, I can come and change the font to put the font that I want and the color of my text which is actually here like the most important part would be to insert the video which is the interactive part to insert the video I will click on insert video and then I will click the URL of the video I have previously found on YouTube or I can search right here. So let me do one about panda bears. So I will get a bunch of videos. We would like the students to choose the video before doing the postcard. But if they do it like this, they can insert the video by clicking on it. On the right hand side, you have different options. So if you only want to have a part of the video you can decide that it will start at 28 seconds and end at one minute we want the video to play automatically when the peep the person opens the card the, the the interactive postcard they'll see the video play right away we don't want them to have to click and you can also mute audio if Ever the, the audio doesn't fit your postcard. If it's only music, you can leave it on. So basically, you would then add a second text box here for your text. And if you wanted to insert a little stamp, you could go and insert image. You can find an image that you already have on your computer, or you could search the web. I'm gonna look for a stamp. I'm gonna use this one here. I'm going to resize it. Now I have a step. The last part, but super important, is how to share this postcard with your teacher. So you, if your postcard was sent through Classroom, you can simply go in your homework and write submit or hand in. However, if it was not shared with Google Classroom and you want to send it to your teacher, you can click here on share. You can simply type the email address of your uh, teacher or again you can go in copy link and send that link to your teacher. However, if you copy link to share with your teacher, you will have to make sure your work is not restricted. You can either make it available to everyone in your board they will be able to see it if they have the link or anyone with the link would allow anyone um, being from your school service center or not to uh, see your work if ever they have the link. So hopefully this was useful for you. Thank you.